Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to solve an isometric projection of the following problem. Uh, it is question number 29 in the question bank or video primer. The following figure shows the front and side view of solid. Draw the isometric projection of the solid. So in question we don't have much of the information. Uh, as they have mentioned, uh, the more or more information is in the figure. So on the, in the figure, we can clearly make out uh, there is a square slab, which is 70, 70, and whose thickness is 30 mm, which is vertically mounted, not horizontally mounted. It is vertically mounted. And in front of that, to the right face of the square slab, uh, a, a cylinder of 35 mm diameter and uh, 40 mm height is horizontally mounted. So more or less in the previous problems, we had multiple solids mounted one above the other vertically whereas in this problem uh, the square slab is vertically mounted and uh, cylindrical is attached to that it is horizontal so this can be done in many other ways uh, i'll show you one of the ways uh, if you find it easy we can try that there are multiple ways of course uh, let's start with the problem so this is the question as you can make out here 70 70 is a square slab of thickness 30 mm and we have a cylinder of 35 mm and uh, length is 40 mm. So let's start with the problem. So yes, I have the same problem here and uh, I, have, I have the orthographic. Of course, you need not to do this in the exam. This is not important. This is just the required data. I'll just keep it aside. Now, let us start with our regular drawing. So here I'll draw as usual with no changes. So we have a square slab, which is 70, 70. So I'll start with a square slab, 70 mm and 30 degree. 70 mm and 150 degree and 70 mm and minus 150 degree and 70 mm minus 30 degree. So the height of the cylinder is mentioned as 30 mm. Sorry, the height of the square slab is mentioned as 30 mm and it is 90. And uh, let us uh, select the base, hold the uh, 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 copy command on and pick this, place it exactly at this tip and we are going to join each of the corners from here till here and uh, from here till here. Now I have to find the center of this. I will use thin line. I will pick a midpoint here and I am going to pick a midpoint. So here there are few edges which are not visible. I am going to uh, delete that or in the last also I can keep that. So let's hold this right now. So I this is the center inside which I have to construct a cylinder. Cylinder means base will be circle. Circle will appear as an ellipse. So to construct the ellipse again I have to construct a square whose side length will be equal to the diameter of the circle which is 35. So already I have a square which I am going to select here and I am going to use scale tool so scale down so i'll turn on the copy command in scale factor i require a square of 35 divided by i have a square of 70 that is existing value 70 so directly i'll get it and i'm going to place it exactly in the midpoint now it's asking do you want a copy i don't need a copy and i'll make this into a thin line again i don't need a center even if i need i can uh, that is just for access so now I have a square inside which I have to construct an ellipse. I, for that, I'm going to use arc by three points. Select arc by three point. I'm going to use it as a thick line. Here I'm going to pick a midpoint. Here I'm going to midpoint. And here I'll draw a tangent. Midpoint, again, midpoint. And I'm going to draw a tangent. And here end point. I can use end point here also. And uh, I can use midpoint. I can use midpoint. And I can draw a tangent and here I can use midpoint here I can use endpoint I can draw a tangent here I think there is some error with this arc I'll just delete it and redraw this I'm going to draw an arc I'm going to pick an endpoint I'm going to pick a midpoint I'm going to draw a tangent so this completes the uh, ellipse which is at the base now at a, at a height also at the certain height also we have a ellipse only so which I'm going to draw again instead of drawing I'll use uh, uh, copy command I'll first I'll draw an axis the axis height is given as 40 which is mentioned in the question so I'm going to draw an axis so axis is supposed to be chain thin so that I'll make it into chain thin like I'll convert it into chain thin and it is thin 
So yes, so this is the axis. Now here I have to place an ellipse. Already I have an ellipse. So I'm going to pick that ellipse, right? And I'm going to use move, turn on copy, and I'm going to pick it exactly from the midpoint. And I'm going to place it at the midpoint of the top axis. Now I'll use a thick line, continuous line. I'll just draw a midpoint to midpoint line. And I'm going to draw a midpoint to midpoint line. Now, uh, this completes the problem, actually two solids, what they are given. But the main problem is here, actually they are given a front and the side view. But whereas we have done vertically, that is not mounted vertically, it has to be rotated. The easiest way is select this, go to rotate, turn off copy command, pick this right edge height and where position angle just type minus 30 and directly you are going to get the solid just uh, delete off what are the hidden edges like these are all some of the hidden edges which are not required for me i can just delete off those all of this which i'm not going to require and access is required so i can keep that of course if you don't want you can also delete the access i don't need this and i can just trim off the internal edges like this is not required this is not required this is not required also this is not required these are edges which are not going to be visible so i'm going to delete this once i'm done with this i'm just going to select this and i'm going to use a scale tool turn off copy command it, it has to be reduced 0 0.816 or 0 0.82 so just place it over here so very very simple problem if you use a rotation method I, it's like a regular problem you easily you can rotate only thing is you have to pick the particular edge and you have to give a rotation angle as minus 30 degree so this is the simplest way uh, there are multiple ways whichever is convenient you can just follow those problem if you find this problem useful and uh, if you find it is it is the easiest method so like and subscribe uh, thank you so much